Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about psychotronic energy and trying to stop a mechanical watch. Now, this is a uh, mechanical watch. It's, it's open on the front and the back, so you can see all the workings on the inside. An amazing device. And uh, so what the idea is, is that uh, some people, when they wear a watch, you, I don't know if you've heard of animal magnetism or... Uh, people will wear a watch and the, the watch will stop working after a while due to the being exposed to the energy field of humans because some people have a uh, abnormally high uh, amount of uh, psychotronic energy uh, around them and uh, so what we're going to do is I've actually built a uh, artificial source of psychotronic energy my energy is probably not powerful enough to stop the watch let's let's get this thing well this is a wind up watch let's uh Let's wind it up a little bit and get it going. Okay, there we go. I guess I wound it the wrong way the first time. Okay. So now we can see the minute hand is moving around. And if we look in the back, there's a little pendulum thing that's whirring around in there, back and forth. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's an amazing device. And uh, so anyway, I mean, some of you may be wondering why I'm interested in psychotronic energy, and it is under uh, the uh, playlist of UFOs. Maybe if that gives you a hint. I did uh, have an opportunity to talk to the infamous uh, John Hutchison, and I asked him if he ever put clocks inside of his uh, the fields he was generating, and if so, how did they behave? And he said yes, they did try several different experiments, and uh, he said that some clocks would run faster, some clocks will run slower. Um, I believe I've studied uh, Jeff Fomenko. You know, if you've studied Einstein, you know Einstein uh, based his whole theory on this one uh, particular thought clock that of light pulse traveling between two mirrors. But uh, Jeff Fomenko was doing a lot of stuff with retarded electromagnetic fields, and uh, he talked about clocks and, and, and relativistic effects. And the conclusion that he came to is depending on what kind of clock you have, it's going to behave differently under acceleration. And I believe that's true under gravitational fields or even psychotronic fields, that uh, different clocks will behave differently under different fields. And what I believe is happening with these type of clocks, these mechanical clocks, is that the psychotronic energy will actually cause the metal parts that are non-magnetic normally to become magnetic and bind up and stop the clock from working. So uh, what we're going to attempt to do is put this watch into a very powerful psychotronic field and uh, stop it from working due to the powerful fields magnetizing the inside of non-magnetic component, normally non-magnetic component components of the watch. So let's see if we can get this to work. Okay. Okay, so we have our clock in the psychotronic on the psychotronic generator, and we have the fields turned off right now. So let's turn the fields on right about now. Okay, and so we'll see how long it takes to stop. Okay, that was less than five seconds. Okay, and we'll turn this. Shake them a little bit to demagnetize it. Get the pendulum going again. So there are the pendulums going again. And let's try it one more time. We'll turn on the fields right about now. Okay. And there's five seconds. About seven seconds it stopped. Okay. And let me turn off the fields. And there we go. Stopping 
clocks with psychotronic energy. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.